When we think about global poverty, we can often feel overwhelmed. But did you know that there have been some big wins in reducing poverty in the past decade? Thanks in large part to the overseas aid that governments like ours give to poorer countries, there are now 14,000 fewer children dying each day. For every $100 our country earns, we give just 35 cents back in overseas aid. And yet a little goes a long way when it comes to delivering health, education and infrastructure to those in need. People often ask me why I campaign on overseas aid and what it has to do with my work with World Vision. The reason is that overseas aid is the single most effective tool we have for tackling poverty. Just ask the community of Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. Bulawayo is Zimbabwe's second largest city and home to Bowser, an Australian funded project aiming to reduce waterborne disease through improved sewerage and water supply systems. The sewage system flows out, it goes straight into the, into the houses and vegetable gardens. We always fear for some disease. Before they get the bows are coming, we had a little problem with water storage problem. If the storage comes into here, they have to pull off all the vegetables. All the vegetables. And we are affected by the diseases. Those chemicals, it's, it's, it's dangerous to the health of, of my children. Oh, it was terrible. Sewer was everywhere. You could hardly step on a dry area. Little children come when they say we want water, they want to play in that, you know, children. So they will catch some diseases like corella. It was a breeding ground of mosquitoes again that would bring in malaria. And even the street could not walk whenever the system was fast. There were some time back when they say there's an outbreak of diarrhea and there's some death of some children. The project was supported by the Australian government with the assistance of World Vision for the health benefits that Bowser has brought into the Blawayo residences that there are no more sewer outflows. There's less risk of sickness. Our children can play freely now and now we are living in a better condition than before. The diarrheal cases for among the under fives dropped 45 percent. Through projects like Bowser, Australia's aid program has increased access to safe water for over 2.5 million people in the last year alone. And that, for me, is the bigger picture on aid. It's about projects that create sustainable, lasting change. We've made huge progress in the fight against global poverty, but we cannot give up. We must keep funding these life-changing initiatives. Sadly, commitments to aid from both major political parties are wavering. Join the movement to end poverty and show your support for aid. Together, we can help our political leaders see the bigger picture that aid works. Yes, we used to worry more for our lives, for our health. It's much better. We are free.